Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountryStreetCottage.net. So today I have a whole craft table full of different brands of transfer tape. So I've been wanting to do a video comparing the different types. So first we're going to run through the seven different types I have, the brands, that type of thing, and I'm going to use all of them to do like the same project. And then at the end, we're going to talk about the results as well as pricing. So I feel like pricing really factors into your decision when buying transfer tape. So we are going to do seven brands, Vinyl Ease, Expressions Vinyl, Craftopia, Direct Vinyl Supply, Cricut. We are going to do one from Vivid Technologies that's actually like the Aura tape, so the Aura Cal transfer tape, and one from Frisco Craft. So I kind of asked on social media what people's favorite brands were, and then I used those recommendations to kind of pick which ones I was going to do in my transfer tape comparison. So first, let's get started with our comparison. So today we're going to compare seven different brands of transfer tape. So here I have Vinyl Ease. This one is Expressions Vinyl. This one is Craftopia. This one is from Direct Vinyl Supply. Now I have the six inch version, but there's also a 12 inch version. This one is the Cricut brand, regular transfer tape. This one is the Vivid Creative Technology. And this one is Frisco Craft. Now I'm gonna to link to all of these in the description below so you can head there and look at those. And we'll talk about pricing at the end of this video after we do our experiments. So for the experiments, I have the exact same design cut for every transfer tape. And I'm gonna use the same scraper. I'm gonna scrape it once across the front once across the back and then apply each of these to the same glass surface. So this is a glass shadow box. I'm going to apply it to the front. Try to peel, burnish it once across. Try to peel it back and then we can see how many of these small pieces that are left on the transfer tape that did not transfer to the glass and we can see if I have any problems that type of thing. So we're just going to start with one and then move our way to the next ones and let's just see what happens. So this one is the Vinyl Ease and as you can see it's kind of like a paper tape um, and I actually usually really like paper ones but we're going to see but I'm actually doing this right you know as you see it like I just opened that roll of transfer tape I've never actually opened it before so I'm actually doing it just kind of live on camera just to see what happens. So here's my design weeded. And I'm going to put this down. I'm going to burnish across the front once. I'm going to burnish across the back once. Then we're going to see how easily this peels up, first of all. So it peels up really easily. So there's one dot that is left. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this back. All right, so out of this intricate design, I had one small piece that was left on the backing paper. So I'm going to lay that back down and I'm going to try to get that piece to stick. Okay, so now everything, okay, now everything is on our transfer tape. This is the vinyl ease once again, and I'm going to apply it to this glass. We're going to apply it down. We're going to burnish it once across, once across, once back, and then we're going to try to peel it up. And this is actually so far so good. And I'm looking for anything that's left on the transfer tape itself. And there isn't anything left. So this one transferred really well. However, picking it up off the backing paper, I did have one small piece that was left. I was able to pick that up, but that is something to note. So that is the Vinyl Ease. And now I'm just going to scrape this off and use the same exact surface on the rest of these. All right, so next up is Expressions Vinyl. Now this is also like a paper tape, but it has grid lines. So one thing to note about the Vinyl Ease is that there are no grid lines. So if you like grid lines, the Vinyl Ease would definitely be out. Um, the other thing I wanted to note is the vinyl I'm using. So the vinyl is the Cricut removable vinyl in silver. So I'm using the same vinyl for every one of these um, mandalas here. So that it's basically comparing to apples to apples. So I just didn't want to use different vinyl for every test. So it is the same vinyl. 
And then we're gonna go once across the front. We're gonna go once across the back. And then we're gonna try to peel this up. Once again, I have one circle that's staying on the backing paper. So just one. So I'm gonna put that back down. Let's go over it once more and try to pick that up. So this time everything stayed down. So similar to the final E so far. And then I'm gonna put it on the same glass surface. I'm gonna go once, twice, and then try to peel that back. Once again, everything looks good and is on the surface. So there we go. So Expressions Vinyl was super com comparable to the Vinyl Ease, but the Expressions Vinyl actually has a grid and the Vinyl Ease does not. And these are both like a paper tape. So now let's get into some of the other ones after I remove this from our glass. All right, next up is Craftopia. The Expressions Vinyl and the Vinyl Ease were like rolls that just peeled off and were adhesive. This has a backing, so it's more of a tape then these are like more of a transfer paper. But we're gonna do the same test. So we're gonna peel it back from the backing. And you may be able to see, so the backing is what is blue. The tape itself is clear. So whereas this is not clear at all, this is clear, but it has like a texture to it. So you can see through it, but it won't be like super perfect. So I guess you could probably see my hand, but it might be a little blurry, I guess. And then we're gonna apply that. And we're gonna do the same procedure. So across the front, across the back, and then we'll try to lift this backing paper. And so far, oh, I have two, three. Okay, so I have several pieces that are not sticking. I'm not even going to count them. So you can kind of see right there that I have several pieces that are not sticking to the transfer tape. So I'm going to try to burnish this a little bit more. See if I can get this to stick. And I still have pieces that are not coming off. So while I heard several people say that Craftopia was their favorite brand, so far it's not mine. <laughs> So let's try again. Okay, I'm getting them all off by just kind of bending the transferred paper back like at a 90 degree angle. That's not ideal. Usually causes me to mess up when I have to do this. Okay, everything's off. We'll just apply this to our glass. Same thing, I'm gonna do once, twice, then I'm gonna to try to peel this back. All right, success. So while everything stuck well with the Craftopia brand, I did have quite a bit of trouble getting it off the backing paper. So I wasn't super impressed with that brand. Um, so between the three, the Expressions Vinyl and the Vinyl Ease are kind of tied for my favorites between the three, with the Craftopia being third. So let's move on to our next four transfer tapes. Next is the transfer tape from Direct Vinyl Supply. Now this is the six inch version, but it also comes in a 12. I do like that they have a six inch version because you could use it with the Joy if you have the Joy. So I'm just gonna cut a small piece off of this one. Stick it right onto our vinyl. And then again, we'll go once across the front, once across the back, and then peel this backing paper back. So, so far I have one small piece. There's a second small piece. 
third, so four, one, four so far, five, All right, so I've got several small pieces. So like one, two, three, four, five. So about 10 or so. So I'm gonna lay that back down. I'm gonna run over it a couple times. See if I can get those to pick up. So again with this one, I'm having to go back and forth. Similar to the Craftopia. Now this one is a clear transfer tape, no grid lines. And the transfer tape itself doesn't have a backing. So now I've gotten everything to pick up. So we'll put this right onto our glass. We'll go over it twice. And peel this back. So there you have transfer tape from Direct Vinyl Supply. So I would say the one from Direct Vinyl Supply as well as Craftopia are fairly similar in their performance. And then I kind of liked the Vinyl Ease and the one from Expressions Vinyl a little bit better. So these two over here. So now let's do the Cricut version next. So here's the Cricut brand of transfer tape. And as you can see, it has grid lines. It is a clear tape and it is like crystal clear. Like you can definitely see through it. So we're just gonna apply that to our vinyl. Once again, once across the front, once across the back. Then we'll just peel this backing back. So actually everything stayed on. So comparable to the vinyl ease and sort of the expressions vinyl. And then we're gonna put it onto our glass twice across and we'll just peel that up. And everything stayed. So the Cricut transfer tape in comparison with my favorites, which were the vinyl ease and the expressions vinyl. So now let's move to Vivid Creative Technologies. All right, so the next one. So it's from Vivid Creative Technologies and it's actually the Aura Tape. And I'll just cut a small piece off. So this looks like maybe grid lines and clear, but let's see. So again, like a clear tape with a backing paper. And so the grid lines are actually on the backing paper. So I guess it's more for cutting than for positioning your vinyl. And we'll just put that onto our vinyl once across the front, once across the back. And then we'll peel up this backing paper. So I've got one piece here that didn't stick, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just about off here. So probably a dozen uh, pieces that didn't stick. So I'm gonna try to put that back down. Burnish it a few more times. Try to get all those pieces off. So I'm using kind of the same method I did with the Craftopia or the Direct Vinyl Supply. So just kind of bending back this backing paper kind of makes the pieces release to the transfer tape. So now all our pieces are off. So we will put it onto the glass twice over the top and peel this back. So there you have the Aura Tape. So I think it's comparable to maybe the Craftopia or the Direct Vinyl Supply. Um, so I would probably make 
the Cricut Vinyl Ease and the Expressions Vinyl may be my favorites. And then Craftopia, the Direct Vinyl Supply, and then the Aura Tape as like my second group. And so we have one more to try. It's from Frisco Craft. So let's open that up. All right, so finally the roll from Frisco Craft. And then you're just gonna cut a piece off. Again, this is a clear transfer tape. The grid lines are only on the backing paper, once again. I personally am not a fan, actually, of the grid lines on the transfer tape itself, so it's okay with me, but just so you know, in case you are a fan of that. So the transfer tape itself is super clear. And then we'll just lay that down onto the vinyl. All right, so then we'll just apply our transfer tape once across the front, once across the back, and then we'll just peel this backing paper up. So I'm getting some of the small pieces already, if you can see that. Actually, yeah, the large piece did come off. It was wanting to stay. So I'll just go ahead and kind of remove the rest of this so we can roughly count these pieces. All right, so probably about 15 small pieces left on to the backing paper. So I'm just gonna reapply it, go over it a couple more times. So again, same method I used with the Craftopia, with the Aura Tape, um, it's, they're basically all performing the same in this group. All right, so now all of our vinyl is on our transfer tape and we'll just put this onto our glass. We'll go over it twice and we'll peel this back. So, Similar result with the Frisco Craft. So Frisco Craft was like the Aura Tape, Direct Vinyl Supply, and Craftopia, so all of these were kind of equal. So now let's take a look at like pricing and things like that because that could factor into your decision. Technically, all of these worked, right? So they all transferred the vinyl to the glass. It just depends on how much burnishing you wanna do and how much extra time you wanna spend. So let's take a look at price because that will factor into your decision. All right, so now that I kind of have my favorites, Let's talk about pricing. So in my favorite pile is the Cricut brand Vinyl Ease and Expressions Vinyl. So Vinyl Ease, I did use the one that is like the paper tape. They do have a clear version, so I did look online for that. So the Vinyl Ease is by far the cheapest one that I used overall. So um, I can get it for as low as 24 cents a foot. These prices are all from Amazon, current as of today, June 2020, not taking into account any sales. You may get sales on any of these and they may be cheaper than that, but that's the cheapest I've found today. Now, Final Ease also makes clear, like I said. I have not tried the clear. So does it work as well as the paper version that's like this opaque, not clear. I do not know that. But the clear seem to be a similar price. They also make Vinyl Ease in a six inch version. So if you have the Cricut Joy, you could get the Vinyl Ease in a six inch um, roll. So it would be like half the size. So this is a 12 inch roll, it would be like half the size, as low as like 15 cents a foot. Um, and the clear was basically like a comparable price. So I do think it would be the cheapest overall, whether you got the paper or the clear. Um, Expressions vinyl was like 58 cents a foot. Um, Cricut was by far the most expensive. So um, it was for their bulk version, the 12 inch, like $1.66 a foot was the cheapest I could get it. So we're talking, I mean, for eight times as much as these other ones. Um, so I definitely am concerned with the price on the Cricut. It did perform really well, um, but I feel like I had really good results with both the Vinyl Ease and the Expressions Vinyl. So I don't know if I would pay the extra for the Cricut. Um, okay, so the Craftopia was actually, so it's, these are like my next favorites. All of them worked. So I'll just call them all my next favorites. Um, so these three were my absolute favorites. And then I'll put these over here. 
Craftopia was kind of on my next list. It is kind of similar in price to the Cricut brand, but you don't have to buy as much at, the t at a time. Um, the Cricut brand, to get that $1.66 price, you have to buy like their bulk. So you would buy more and of course spend more at one time. So Craftopia was a similar price like at $1.66, but you can buy less. Um, direct Vinyl Supply, the one I had the six inch version of, it was like 40 cents for the six inch or like 60 cents a foot for the larger 12 inch. Um, it's a great option if you want the clear in the six inch. Um, like I said, the vinyl ease, it would be cheaper and they have a six inch clear, but I did not use it. So I can't say that it would work the same, but I did use the direct vinyl supply. It's much cheaper. So the Cricut brand has their Cricut Joy transfer tape, which is the smaller wit. And it's like the cheapest I can get it is like 90 cents a foot. This direct vinyl supply, it would only be 40 cents, so it would be less than half of the Cricut brand. Still be the clear transfer tape. Would not have the grid, which like I said, doesn't bother me, it might bother you. Um, so next up is the Aura Tape, and it was 63 cents a foot. And then the Frisco, and all these are kind of the same. Um, Frisco was like 32 cents was the cheapest that I saw it. And this was just the cheapest in like a brief look. You might find a sale somewhere, get one of these much cheaper. You've seen the results yourself, go for it. Okay, so let's talk about the grid. If you want the grid like actually on the tape as you apply it to the vinyl, like you really use that for alignment. You're talking Craftopia, Cricut, Expressions Vinyl. And out of all of those, Expressions Vinyl would be the cheapest. So it would be 58 cents a foot. It worked, like I said, I think comparable to the Cricut and is way, way less in price. Now, Cricut runs sales all the time. You might find this one much cheaper. You might think that's for you, go for it. It works great. Um, but just for me, like I'm sitting here today, I need to order transfer tape. I personally don't use the grid at all. Um, I would probably get the vinyl ease because it's the cheapest. And I don't mind the paper transfer tape. Um, but like I said, they do have a clear version. I have not tried it, but you could definitely try it as well. Now, if I'm sitting here today, I don't want the paper. So Expressions Vinyl and Vinyl Ease is the paper. Cricut's pretty expensive. If I wanted the grid, it would be Craftopia for me. If I did not want, if I don't care about the grid, then Frisco Craft. So Frisco Craft would be the cheapest. I feel like all these are the same. So Frisco Craft would be the cheapest at, I can get it today for 32 cents. Again, that would be clear, no grid lines, not the paper. That's what I wanted today. Frisco Craft would be the one I would get. So I hope this helps. A lot of information, right? So if this helped you at all, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, any of these transfer tapes, anything we've covered, please ask those in the comment section below. If you love this video, you'll definitely want to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. I love doing comparison posts like this and experimenting with things. So if you liked this, you'll definitely love the other videos on our YouTube channel and you'll definitely want to subscribe so you can see all the other experiments I have planned. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope this helped you a little bit. Pick that transfer tape that will work for your vinyl at an affordable price. Like I said, all these prices are just today. Subject to change, of course. Got most of the pricing on Amazon, just so it would be like an apples to apples comparison. I'm sure you might be able to find different pricing or a sale on any of these, but now you have all the information. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.